Hi guys, welcome to a special class where you and I learn origami. So we have built these special packs for you and you're gonna get directions printed out for you of different projects like we have cups and fish and bears, oh my, you know, that kind of stuff. And we have different kinds of paper for you. So we've got like thicker origami paper that's one size. We've got some thick cardstock with patterns on both sides. We've got smaller squares of thinner paper. And we've got ones that are decorated on one side. We've got basically all kinds of stuff. So what you need at home is some pens to draw on your paper with if you choose. And today's project, I actually am going to use washi tape to show you how to make something. So it's kind of recommended that you have that. Um, and then later on, which I don't have here, but you, later on, you will actually need a glue stick for a couple of the projects. So let's get started with today's. So, all my origami paper. What's really nice is it's all kind of a different like variety. You can totally, you know, pick whatever you want. You can see what sizes work for you. So I'll give you this first um, origami one and it's super silly. I know you guys are gonna think it's super silly, okay? So you're gonna take your paper. I took the actual thick cardstock paper. And you're gonna fold over a square. So I guess technically it's a triangle. And then you're gonna fold over the other one, the other side, okay? So you try to get it, I'm learning just like you, you try to get it as as even as you can and then you've just made a house I know it's silly right but it's pretty easy and it's good to start with right so you could say that's the roof and you could you know draw your shingles on the roof and maybe this is like the inside so you draw the door because you see like the inside maybe the door is open and that's like the wallpaper or something maybe you're peeking in through the window whatever you guys want to do it's just a cute little house kind of fun to play with so our next project is actually going to be an envelope Okay, so we have some special papers in here that are kind of slick and what it was is it came from a calendar and each piece on the calendar has another project on it. So like I have Thursday, December 27th and that's okay. We're just, we're not going to actually use this project. You could if you wanted to learn something else, but we are actually using it for the origami paper. Okay, so I'm going to fold it diagonal and I'm going to line it up as even as I can. Origami is kind of tricky, but I find it's really fun to manipulate the paper. So that means like, you know, make the paper into different shapes and stuff. So that's diagonal and then we're going to do it on the other side. And sometimes you got to sit up straight so you can see like, try to get it as even as possible, okay? So basically, we'll flip it on this side. It's gonna have these four corners, okay? So, next, I am gonna fold this corner up to the middle. So, oops, sorry about that squeak. So I like to push my finger down so it makes, like when I want a sharp crease, and then you do it again and so 
That's why I showed you the house first was because this is the same type of step that the house uses, right? This is our upside down house. And then you're going to do one more for our envelope, though. Do you see it coming together? Okay. So you could actually glue or tape this. You could, however you want to adhere it together, you can totally do that. I am going to, goodness gracious, me and Mashi tape, right? Sometimes it's really easy for me, and sometimes it's super hard. Okay, so, oops, I tore it. Okay, so here's the envelope. And I picked kind of like this wavy chevron washi tape and I'm gonna use that you guys could use whatever you want for adhesive goodness look what I did okay now hopefully it's not that hard for you <laughs> don't rip it like I am but um so then you throw your paces there you go Tape it fancier than I did, I guess. And then fold this part over and you actually have your envelope. Let me show you another one I made. So this is a little bit better. The tape didn't rip on me. So here's your little envelope. And what's cool is you just, you can put something in there. It's my leaf, fold it up, right? Write somebody's name on it. You got your own personalized envelope and you can make these out of any size you want. Make them out of big uh, square paper, like big 12 by 12 paper, construction paper, anything like that. Okay, so the next one is, let's do, hmm, I kind of like the pink. See, here's another one. We have another date paper because it's origami calendar. Learn different things. So this next one, which you actually have directions for, just in case you need them, is a cup. So you're going to fold it diagonal again. Oops. And then you're going to flip it to the side. Okay? And what's neat about this one is you're going to flip it up like this. So here's the corner. And you're going to get it to where it goes all the way over to this side yes and that's what I do I push it down and then you're gonna get it all the way over to this side right and you're gonna push it down and so on the top is your opening to your cup right so you're gonna Fold that down and then fold this down on the other side, right? Then you're going to have a little opening for your cup. Isn't that pretty cool? So I have a little cup now to go with my house and my crazy envelope with crazy washi tape. So there's our first set of projects and I will see you in the next one.